This is the new Garrett CX Plus, the Computer Express. Microprocessor controls and other miracles of 21st century electronics help the CX Plus find more and deeper treasure and find it more rapidly. Yet, it's so simple to operate. Just press this pad and you're ready to hunt for coins right now. Pages 6 and 7 in your owner's manual tell you how. Oh yes, make certain that the two discrimination control knobs on the side panel are dialed to the initial setting arrows and that the coil cable is wrapped snugly around the detector stem. Now, let's hunt. These three tones tell you that the CX Plus is operating in the discriminant mode and is ready to find coins. Scan at a rate of one to two feet per second and hold your search coil level about one or two inches above the ground. Sounds like we found something. Move the search coil around to determine where signals are loudest. It's here that you'll find your target beneath the search coil center. Before we dig it up, let's check the target ID guide above the meter, which indicates the probable identity of all targets. It looks like a quarter. Let's dig it up and see. What do you know? A silver quarter. Charles Garrett recommends that you hunt in this starter phase for some 10 hours to familiarize yourself with the new detector. But now, let's talk about all those computer and electronic miracles we mentioned earlier. You've used the power touchpad. Now, let's learn about the other five touchpads. The all-metal pad serves three purposes. When pressed, it places the detector in its all-metal mode, permitting it to sound off on any metallic object it detects. When the all-metal pad is pressed and held, Garrett's unique fast-track action begins. Go ahead and scan in a normal manner. In just a few sweeps of the coil, ground balance is automatically achieved when you hear Release the pad when this sound lets you know the detector is ground balanced properly. Because of its computer controls, your CX Plus will now continue to make ground balance adjustments automatically, no matter what soil conditions you encounter or the speed at which you scan. The third function of this pad permits you to set the threshold sound to the level that you prefer. That's the low steady sound you hear while searching. To regulate it, Press and hold the all-metal pad and use the plus and minus keys to set the threshold to your liking. Charles Garrett recommends that you hunt with a low threshold sound like this. You'll always know that your detector is operating and when the sound increases, you'll know you found something. Now for the next pad. Do you recall how you tried to pinpoint your targets in the starter phase? Well, there's a better way using this touchpad. Let's learn about automatic pinpointing. When you discover a target, place the search coil on the ground beside your target. Press and hold the pinpoint touchpad while you scan back and forth across the target, maintaining search coil contact with the ground. You'll observe an increase in sound and the lower scale indication on your detector's meter will also increase. At this maximum reading, the target is directly below search coil center. Now for another valuable function of the CX Plus. Keep your eye on the meter as you move the search coil off your target and release the touchpad. There you have coin depth in inches. This one is three and a half inches below the bottom of your search coil. The reading will hold for about three seconds. Pressing this fourth touchpad enables you to return to the factory set discriminant mode anytime you've been hunting in the all metal mode. Remember that your CX Plus will always begin hunting in this discriminant coin hunting mode anytime you turn it on. You've already learned how these two arrowhead pads, marked plus and minus, help you regulate the threshold sound of your detector. They can also be used to regulate the sensitivity or depth capability of your detector. 
Press either pad and you'll see that your detector's sensitivity has been set at a high level at the factory. Press either the plus or minus pads to raise or lower the sensitivity as field conditions require. If you're ever concerned about the use of any of these touch pads and want to return to the factory settings, just hold down the all metal touch pad and press the discrimination touch pad. When you hear, you'll know that your detector is again operating in its factory set discrimination mode. One last word about your detector's control functions and its meter. To the right here, your battery function is reported continuously while the CX Plus is operating. You can see five segments on the battery display. When only one or two segments appear, it's time to change batteries. The CX Plus should operate at least 40 hours on a set of six C-cell batteries. To change batteries, remove this cover by sliding it back and turn the detector over to let the battery case slide out into your hand. Unscrew the two screws and replace the old batteries with new cells. Make sure the new batteries are inserted properly. This diagram on the side of the battery box will indicate proper polarity. Next, replace the top of the pack and tighten the screws. Use finger pressure only and don't screw too tightly. Then, drop the battery pack into the detector. You'll note that it will only go in one way. Now, slide the cover back on until it snaps. If the battery pack is out for four minutes or more, you'll lose any threshold or sensitivity settings you may have made. Let's look at the side of your detector now and learn about these important discrimination controls. We made certain earlier.